When it comes to LNG marine fuel safety, let's not guess. One unique characteristic of LNG as a fuel is that it's dynamic, constantly producing boil-off gas, or bog. This makes it different from conventional fuels like heavy fuel oil or marine gas oil, which remain stable under normal storage conditions. LNG, on the other hand, is cryogenic, stored at extremely low temperatures. As it gradually warms, it turns back into gas, creating pressure in the tank that must be managed continuously. This happens because LNG is natural gas that's been cooled and condensed, reducing its volume by 600 times. At this stage, it's a cryogenic liquid stored at a temperature of minus 160 degrees Celsius at atmospheric pressure. The LNG is kept in insulated pressurized tanks, but even with insulation, heat from the outside environment slowly seeps in. As the LNG warms, it starts to boil, and that boiling generates vapor, what we call boil-off gas. This buildup of vapor increases the pressure inside the tank, so we need to manage that pressure carefully. Venting it into the atmosphere isn't ideal, both from a safety and environmental perspective. Instead, we direct the gas through a vaporizer, then to a gas heater, and finally to a consumer, like the main engine, a generator, or even a boiler. Remember, LNG is always producing vapor, and that vapor is flammable. While it's valuable as fuel, managing it becomes critical for both cooling and pressure control. So, when it comes to LNG marine fuel knowledge, make sure you are doing it right and let's not guess. Learn more at MaritimeXR.com. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more micro lessons.